here's the flight updated to 90-90, overlap as, a, as the drone goes down its flight line and 90% overlap left to right as they cross. Bear in mind you could do a hatch pattern where you came at every object from all four directions instead of two and that would probably get rid of the last few remaining artifacts but seems overkill. Uh, one mistake I said in the earlier video, there's no extra overhead to do a 90% overlap as you fly down the line but obviously if you're going to have 90% overlap laterally you know across the images then the flight lines are going to be closer together so you would need more batteries and more flight time so there's no cost to going down the line but there is a cost to bringing the lines in tighter for overlap so you know here's our jpeg okay of the of the flight uh real nice real nice jpeg zoom in on my property uh, some privacy concerns as you, as you can see on the right there you can actually see through people's uh, skylights so uh, into the room so i'm not going to do that uh, yep that's where i throw my hose pipes behind the house <laughs> so there's my garbage cans individual bushes there's my drain hole there's my downspout there's my individual solar light as you walk down the front of the house so good detail there uh, and now you've got, you know, you can, you can see if you zoom in on the next door neighbor's nice Jeep. You know, you got the ridges in the Jeep top there. So that's just the JPEG as well. So that's pretty cool, I thought. There's a lot of detail we can see in this picture. And, you know, it gives you the other products. I'm not going to go through them all again, but let's just look at, like, the color JPEG that we get for the DEM. There we go. Pretty nice, right? See where my houses here and you see if you maintain a lot of canopy cover behind it okay so it's what we look like a bit overexposed actually but you know obviously you can change that in the ArcGIS settings uh, there's the image okay that's uh, probably change that to percent clip or something like 0.5 right you know so uh, that yeah there you go fixes the overexposure a little uh so what's the resolution on this this was flowing at 80 meters in height and the resolution is going to be under two centimeters yeah 1.86 so 1.9 centimeters 1.8 and 1.4 1.5 centimeters on the x and y okay and there's the geo reference the geo reference is exact i checked it again against other products don't lose a lot through the reprojection you still see the hoses still see the drain the downspout me but warm a bright yellow t-shirt there i am okay <laughs> hiding under the trees in the sun in the shade okay uh so yeah 1990 looked almost perfect it worked in very hot, dense canopy and then you can, you can pick out different you can pick out the pines you can pick out the even different species of you know, you can pick out leaves actually on some of the broad leaf so you know you got plenty of variance as your pines through there maples at the front so i'm pretty cool point cloud exploded okay ended up with towards half a million points with elevation at each point okay so there you go almost no holes in the end let's see if that attribute table can open So we ended up with about, sorry, third of a million, 323,000 points. Okay. I'm just going to let the points close in just so you can see. So now at the core centerpiece of the image, this bit where my house is here, which was the goal of the flight, there's virtually no gaps. Okay. There you go. You've got some gaps around the edge where you don't have as much overlap. That's it. And now let's take a look at the DEM. And as you can see, it's pretty good. It's not actually a DEM, of course, a DSM, isn't it? There's the roof, there's my garage, right? Okay. So. That's the trees, that's my tall trees right here. Uh, there's shrubs down there, so shrubbery down.